Hi, everyone. <laughs> this is Martin Patella for Life Enthusiast Podcast. And with me today, I have a big announcement. We have been introduced to Ishmael Perez, who is the author of Our Cosmic Origins, among other things. He also wrote other books previously, and he'll tell us all about it. But what I'm super excited about is that Ishmael is coming to us with a message, a plan, a big picture plan. And uh, I would like you, our audience, to get a chance to understand just how our minuscule, miserable little lives fit into the big picture. Ishmael. Thank you. I appreciate you for having me here and giving me this opportunity. So for those that don't know me, my name is Ishmael Perez. I am the author of a book called Our Cosmic Origin, which reveals the true galactic history of the Earth, revealing the true uh, connection to the extraterrestrial races, the cosmic beginnings of humanity, um, the different dimensional uh, realities, and much more. It is a book that once again bridges the gap between ancient metaphysical knowledge that has been suppressed for thousands of years with cutting edge science coming from the realm of quantum physics, super string theory, M theory, and unified field theory, uh, explaining the bigger picture and our connection to the cosmos. Yeah, and I, I, in my mind, it's sort of like, here we are on the Titanic, having a wonderful dinner and arranging our chairs and all of that, but we're on the Titanic. If we don't talk to the captain and don't change the way this is headed, we could just totally trash this journey, right? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, I mean, yes. myself, since childhood, I've felt and I've had inner knowing that there is much more to it than what just meets the eye. And I've, I've held a, a strong knowing that I have been around many times in many places. So when one day I had a chance to talk to a fellow who does Akashic Records, readings he said oh yeah yeah 120,000 rounds and I said well that feels like a big number he said oh only 20 percent of them here on this planet <laughs> you know Martin he's telling you the truth oh yes of course so um but I typically I don't go out on the limb telling people these things because it's not part of the everyday discourse in mainstream news they look at you th like this and they think that you have lost something. So mm -hmm. how do you know that you know? Well, for once, um, I consider myself a galactic ambassador uh, representing an interdimensional alliance that was uh, designed long ago um, as guardians and protectors of the earth. And so I, I am uh, extraterrestrial in human form. Uh, many would consider me a starseed an awakened starseed. And I believe that there's millions upon millions of starseeds that are embodied in human form that actually uh, chose to incarnate at this time to help in the event that is known as the planetary ascension, which is an event that is fast approaching. So as a member of the interdimensional alliance, um, my purpose uh, in coming here is to reveal the cosmic connection to the earth and how the earth has been involved in a interdimensional warfare that has been going on for billions and billions of years. So just because we are only attuned to this reality, guys, it doesn't mean that the advanced civilizations or extraterrestrials don't exist. The truth of the matter is, is that this minute war that we called the war between the Cabal and the Earth Alliance is rather a small reflection of a greater war that has been going on in the in our Milky Way galaxy for millions of years between the Draco reptilians who represent the villains in the galaxy uh, and the galactic uh, uh, Lyran humanoids, which are the uh, ancestors of all human races in our universe. And so in my book, I revealed the entire story in great detail and how this war between the original galactic humans, who are our ancestors, the Lyrans, and the reptilians, is a war that is now coming to an end here in our world between the Cabal Deep State and the White Hats. Hmm. That's deep, very deep. So I guess about 67 million years ago, we really upset them when we 
somehow blew up the entire dinosaur existence on this planet. Absolutely, my friend. Yes, we could say that the the whole um, concept and the existence of dinosaurs was attributed to when the reptilians uh, came to our world and decided to, um, you know, create their own development, which came in the form of the dinosaurs. But uh, to our surprise, um, the galactic humanoids that have been around for billions of years in our universe, not only in our galaxy, uh, were able to... Um, intelligently direct an asteroid to wipe out the dinosaur population in order to uh, allow the human species to exist here in our planet. But bear in mind that, you know, according to my research, human-like specimens exist all over the universe. We're not just the only humans. Yeah. Every single humanoid out there, in fact, about 80% of the extraterrestrials are human Noid. They look like us, we look like them. There is no difference. And we all share the same God, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> and that that is the that is the strangest thing, right? Like we we seem to find all these minute differences and then we focus on the differences, but we should be focusing on on what's in common, right? The the center. Exactly. Because yes. That that I found so encouraging in your message where you're saying, come on, there's the God, the consciousness, this this is the whole thing. I mean, the entire universe really is the expression of that great consciousness, right? Absolutely, my friend. And, and that is now being proven through science that we do live in a conscious living universe, an organic living universe where everything is alive. The planet is a living entity. Our solar system, our galaxy, and the entire universe is a big entity at a ma macro level of reality. And... To be honest, we are like the cells in the universe, right? Just like we have trillions of cells, little us, mm -hmm. inside our bodies, right? Uh, each cell with its own mind, its own individual uni uh, consciousness. Mm -hmm. In like manner, we humans in the in the universe are like the cells that make up the body of our of our living universe. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. As above, so below. In absolute, so, in such so many scales, right? Absolutely. Yeah, there's, uh, I think uh, there's about 12 dimensions so the, the universe is divided in 12 dimensional spheres or frequencies, where the 12th dimension is where, in fact, the uh, consciousness of our universe exists in all 12 dimensions, mm -hmm. but it is expressed through all the different levels, from the mineral kingdom, to the elemental kingdom, to the plant kingdom, the animal kingdom, the human kingdom, planets, stars, galaxies and then of course the 12 dimension being the universe but it's all one consciousness divided into different levels exactly <laughs> so when a person gets your book which i encourage everyone to do because it will help so much with the understanding what what can one expect once they've read the book what what will happen to the ordinary person who says oh i should know this i should learn this Definitely a activation, uh, an awakening, a, a, a deeper uh, understanding of our place in the multiverse. Because not only do I reveal galactic history, my friend, but I also reveal Earth's place in relationship to the multiverse. And we do live in an organized multiverse where every planet, every solar system, every galaxy and every universe is registered. And, is, and every single one of those has a Stargate number. So everything is well organized. You know, we are part of a living, intelligent cosmos and where life is steaming up on every level of reality. Mm -hmm. So what people are going to do when they read my book is, first of all, they are going to break away from the matrix. They are going to break away from the programming because the programming was designed to lock us into a very small, narrow bandwidth of reality, which is only 1%. It turns out that the other 99% of our reality was in, intelligently left out by the genetic programming, by the, uh, you know, since the day, since the moment we we're born, we are programmed, right? Because that was part of why the fallen angels, which are the reptilians in the Bible, when they took over the affairs of the world, it turns out that they disconnected about 10 strands of our DNA. And 
Yeah, and that explains the, the junk DNA that scientists have recently discovered. So we had already existed with a greater genetic capacity before we became downgraded into just these, you know, homo sapiens that we are now. And there was a, a reason for that. And so we are now living in a time, my friend, where the other 10 strands of DNA are already getting to reactivate so that we could have our original 12 strand DNA. And, and that is a process that is now uh, a, un, that we are all undergoing as the planet moves into a higher dimension. And because from what I understand is our planet Earth as a as a sentient being is also moving up into the fifth dimension. Uh -huh. Yeah, so so we are living in the greatest times ever in the history of the Earth, where for the first time in, in Earth's history, an entire planet is going to ascend. And those people that are, are living, you know, good, that are that are very good people, good heart, are going to be able to become upgraded and become 12 strand DNA and 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 uh go from a hundred years to thousands of years right in the same body no longer gonna age anymore <laughs> oh yeah lovely so yeah. so i guess in preparation maybe maybe the um you know the fellow that introduced us barbary mm -hmm. Horn, he he's uh running an enterprise that helps people to prepare right to detoxify do you have anything good to say about the folium product Absolutely. Um, it, it is a natural remedy for, you know, the detoxification of all metals in our body. And believe it or not, um, under the control, the reptilian control of the planet through the cabal families, uh, everything has been poisoned, my friend, including the shampoos that we use, the face wash, the foods that we eat, the makeup that women use, the chemtrails, all of that stuff is, is releasing nanoparticulates, metals, Borium, uh, aluminum, which is very, very harmful for the human body. Yeah. And, and my friend developed a product that actually cleanse yourself from all of those particulates. And to me, that is what we need. You know, that is amazing. That's why I promote the product, because this is what we need to cure, to heal ourselves from the inside out. Yeah. Because like you said, as above, so below, you know, it turns out that just how we are battling, right, cancer cells right? Tumor cells. It turns out that there is a cosmic cancer that does exist in the form of artificial intelligence. And this is a negative artificial intelligence that the entire multiverse has been at war with. So from a cosmic level of reality, my friend, um, we have been fighting a cosmic virus that has been destroying galaxies, universes, Wow. Uh, for billions of years <laughs> so so when i when i think as uh, what you're saying is evokes the uh, star wars movies into my memory May, maybe the fellow that put the script together uh, listened to something similar to what you've heard huh well you know many believe that uh george lucas was able to tap into the akashic records to uh, have access to the galactic wars that took place in our own galaxy. Uh, those wars have a name. They are called the Orion Wars. And those were the wars that took place between the Galactic Federation, those that are represented by the galactic humanoids, and the Draco Reptilians that represent the Orion Empire. So all he did is switch the names. Instead of calling it Galactic Federation, he called it Jedi Council. Instead of calling it Draco Orion Empire, he called it Sith Council. So it's the same meaning. It's just he just kind of Great changed name. the wording around. But the whole concept of this war between a galactic empire that is led by the drip reptilians, who are the boss and the overlords of the cabal. The, see, what most people fail to realize is that this is a multidimensional warfare. On a planetary level, we are dealing with a deep state. We are fighting a cabal. On the galactic level, we are fighting a reptilian race, right? The Draco. But on a cosmic level, my friend, it all boils down to artificial intelligence. We are fighting against the machine, a very advanced negative machine that has evolved to the point where it is now able to destroy galaxies at a, at a very large scale of reality. And um, that is a reflection of what's going on with the you know, program that the Cabal initiated two years ago, right? With the shots. The whole purpose of that shot, my friend, was to is to convert us to machine. 
because yeah. there is yeah there's a lot of uh, things that people don't understand on the earth that is how artificial intelligence takes over worlds they don't do it openly they do it inwardly through infiltration mm. and then they take over the body through injections yeah and that's how they're able to you, take over worlds. yeah once you insert the uh, the conductors the metals yes it's a lot easier to get the signal inside you Yes, and then combine that with, you know, um, uh, I want to call it five golf. You know, I'm going to speak in metaphor. Five <laughs> golf, right? Right? The, opening... yeah, the short wave highest frequency, yeah? Yeah, five golf. Once they activate five golf, uh, and then once they have so many um, shots, it's going to activate the particulates in people's bodies, and those people will no longer be organic. But there is a solution to make sure that that doesn't happen. And that solution comes in the form of what they call a solar flash event, a solar flash event, which is already happening. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I speak, uh, the, the, even um, NASA has been registering massive solar flares. Uh, these solar flares have to do with a new energy that is now penetrating the planet that has a lot to do with shifting the planet to a higher dimension. In order to prevent a, a cyber or what we call an AI takeover of our world. So through this event that is slowly uh, happening called the Grand Solar Flash, there is going to come to a point where the sun is going to release a frequency, my friend, that is going to totally um, dissolve and neutralize all the, uh, the poison, all the particulates in people's bodies so that the people do not become cyborgs. Because in the end, the cabal agenda was to connect people to the uh similar to what we see in terminator the skynet to the borg you know yeah. and they've already been setting that up through satellite systems yeah it reminds me of the insect style of society where the individual is always expendable and mm -hmm. does not be, it doesn't get respected right exactly yeah pretty much yeah so that's that's the bigger picture you know uh the bigger picture is that there is an agenda to uh, destroy the organic way of life. Yeah. Well, isn't that interesting that we are born and living in the time and space where this is coming to to a head, right? This is really the, the moment of the battles upon us. Absolutely, my friend. Absolutely. And that's why they say that the last war takes place here on this planet. Because this planet also is very significant to the overall plan of the cosmos. Hmm. Very significant. <laughs> and here we are. We chose to be here. Yeah, we all chose to incarnate at this time. Exactly. So everyone listening, you're, uh, for some reason, you chose to buy the ticket to the greatest show <laughs> available. And to the hardest dimension ever to explore, which is the third dimension. Right. You know, that's another thing that I talk about in my book is how we've been descending, you know, through a process of uh, involution, which is descent of spirit into denser realities. We become matter material. But our true origin, Martin, began in the eternal spheres. We began as spirit beings right. before we became human, you know. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I have a strong sense myself that... Uh my uh, eternal spark whatever that is the consciousness that animates me mm -hmm. is wearing this body as uh, as i would wear a jacket or a shirt yeah and like uh, an avatar <laughs> yeah an avatar yeah very good yeah that's another wonderful concept mm -hmm. and um, anyway what i'm trying to uh, get at is to get our audience to understand what they can do so one definitely read the book because it's going to help you put yourself on on the path right on understanding and prepare it's, it's gonna make you it's gonna help you understand the bigger picture beyond the earth because uh what's going on in the earth like i said is a reflection of a greater war that has been going on in our galaxy and in the cosmos and in other dimensions mm -hmm. it's just that that war is now finally being played out here in this world in this realm mm -hmm. so yeah, you happen to have the book handy? I do, actually. It's called uh, Our Cosmic Origin. Yeah, lovely. Oh, what a pretty design, too. Right Thank from you. Egypt. Yeah, and it's um, the reason I picked the all-seeing eye, it's, it's uh, symbolic to the third eye chakra. You know, 
once we activate the third eye chakra, my friend, we gain all our psychic abilities back. We become, to, we, we see things as they really truly are in a sense where we can no longer be deceived. So this has nothing to do with cabal. This has everything to do with the original concept of the all seeing eye, which is something that um, is related to the activation of the pineal gland. Yeah. Once we activate the pineal gland, my friend, then we have access to all the other dimensions. Yeah. And so that's why I picked this eye. Now, at the center, you see planet Earth. Ah. Remember? Yeah, how I was saying how planet Earth is the most important planet. There is a reason for that. You know, planet Earth, in its original conception, was designed as an intergalactic exchange center of information for the entire cosmos. So there is um, a reason why Earth is so important in this, in the greater scheme of things. And now... This book um, is actually the second edition. I did have one, the first edition that I published a year and a half ago. And that edition is no longer in circulation. This one is much better. Um, this one was was re-edited and, and remodified where I simplified it, where it's easier to understand because there's a lot of cosmic information. And I also added an additional chapter, which explains what happens after the solar flash, after the great event that is going to usher in what I call the seventh golden age of enlightenment in the age of Aquarius. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, wonderful. I, I don't know that we can say much more than that. You know, for, for, for those that are interested in um, getting my book, I do sell it on Amazon. All you have to do is type in our cosmic origin by Ismail Perez and uh, make sure you click on the purple copy. The purple copy is a new edition. Great. Uh, well, I'm looking forward to having another discussion with you about all of this right after the first large solar flash. <laughs> Absolutely, my friend. Anytime. I'm I, I'm hoping that we are going to be uh, still alive when this happens, because it's, it's right around the corner, right? I believe that it's going to happen between now and 2024. Yeah. But, you know, lately uh, we've been receiving a lot of uh, solar flares, a lot of huge blasts coming from the sun. Yeah. Uh, they're called CMEs, coronal uh, mass ejections. Yeah. And so lately the coronal mass ejections have been um, so intense uh, that they are registering as X-class flares, M-class flares. Uh, and then they believe that uh, the biggest one is what's going to completely shift the planetary consciousness of earth into the next level of reality or to, we, we call it into the fifth dimension mm -hmm. so when that happens uh all the evil in this planet including the ai and all the poison in people's bodies that that they got through the injection is all going to be dissolved great in the meantime we do need to um, try and keep ourselves going by doing the right things Doing the right things, eating healthy, and most importantly, detoxing by taking folium, you know, <laughs> yes, right? <laughs> you actually have a bottle of it. This is good. Yes. I know. I'm referring everybody to this. This is the greatest thing that I've ever, uh, this, that I have discovered so far when it comes to detoxing the body from all metals. Fantastic. Ismail, this has been a pleasure and a treat. And I thank you. And uh, we're going to connect again. Thank you, Martin. I appreciate your time as well, my friend. This is Martin Patella for Life Enthusiast, life-enthusiast.com. With questions, call me at life, oh no, at 866-543-3388. Thank you.